Michigan Out of Doors Magazine's OD is brought to you by Country Smokehouse of Almond, offering the best quality and satisfaction in homemade meats, sausage, and jerky. It's a Michigan destination. Check out the website at countrysmokehouseinc.com. And by Williams Gun Sight. Located in Davison, Williams Gun Sight has mid-Michigan's largest selection of used guns with over 2,000 in stock every day. Check out the website to view inventory and prices. And by Outdoor Rama, featuring Big Buck Night, Trout Pond, Wildlife Encounters, Fishing, Boating, and Hunting Exhibitors, Outdoorama has something for everyone at the Suburban Collection Showplace, February 23rd through the 26th. So in the, here in Manistee National Forest, there was one person who really felt that 70,000 acres of the Huron Manistee Forest should be, should have hunting and snowmobiling banned on that property. And one person was able to take, file a court case and take that all the way up to a decision that a judge made saying that the U.S. Forest Service had to go back and review the original decision that they made allowing hunting and snowmobiling to remain on that property. That property has been traditionally um, a more quiet area for hunting so that hunters that wanted a more walkable walk-on experience would be able to have that and banning hunting from that property was directly against what its intended purposes were for. So MUCC was able to put out a lot of information on this subject and thanks to all of our friends and partners and members, we were able to generate a tremendous response to this court case during the public comment periods. I mean, 9,000 comments were generated supporting keeping hunting and snowmobiling open and active in this property. and. We can't thank everybody enough for all the work that they did because even though one person tried to stop hunting in this area, over 9,000 people said, we want to keep it open and this access is really important. So it was a tremendous victory, I feel like. Um, it's something that we're going to have to continue to monitor. Um, the decision that was made was not the one that we preferred because it had um, it, it does focus on a little bit more um, looking at the, the road issue. So we will be monitoring all of the, the roads as the U.S. Forest Service looks at what they're going to do individually, whether they're going to keep some open or close them. And we'll make sure that we're keeping everybody up to date on that subject as well. But again, we want to thank you so much for your support. You truly, truly made a difference in this case. And we hope that you'll continue to be uh, friends, members, and supporters of MUCC. So when I first came to work for MUCC, the biggest question that I got is, you know, what does MUCC do for us? And I hope that this case and this initiative really shows people that having an organization there, watching these issues, telling the public about what's going on is a true value and you can see the direct results when you engage your voice with an organization like MUCC. So we would hope that you would consider becoming a member if you aren't already and if you are a member we hope that you plan to stay with us for a long time. We're getting ready to celebrate our 75th anniversary, 75 years of protecting hunting, fishing, and trapping in the state of Michigan and we hope for another 75 more.